Alright guys, today I'm going to be talking to you about features that should be added to Atlantean City Part 2 and a lot of these features have actually been forgotten or not even men mentioned in other YouTubers videos so I might as well just mention them now before the update comes out but anyway, let's get started Alright, so many of you who played Pokemon Brick Bronze would remember a very big feature was actually in Anthean City with Ash Greninja being added into the game. Now I know Ash Greninja is a Pokemon, so it wouldn't make sense for it to be in Lumion Legacy, but I'm just talking about the main idea of Ash Greninja, how it can change forms just through bonds. So what you would, I want a Lumion similar to Ash Greninja, where you could go ahead and per basically purchase it. It doesn't have to be with Robux like it was in Anthean City, but for example, you'd walk over here and then there'd be some like shady guy, let's say for example, Milo. Um, instead of just having Milo in like events only, we could have him also in Atlantean City. And he would just be like sitting over there, for example, with a pretty cool Lumion that can uh, change forms through Bond. So basically, it doesn't have to be like Ash Greninja or even through Bond, but... A Lumion that would change forms mid-battle would be pretty cool and it would honestly change PvP for quite a lot of reasons but anyway that was just a simple easter egg that I wanted to add into the video it was it was a pretty good feature that I enjoyed a lot in Anthean City especially because I had the gamma uh, not a gamma but a shiny Ash Greninja so yeah yes as a kid I used to spend a lot on Ash Greninja but you know I liked it, so yeah, please add it, please. All right, next up, I wanna talk about uh, underwater mining facility in Lumion Legacy. As you can see here, all we use this for is fossil Lumions. Now, I'm not talking about changing this, but as you can see here, we no one uses this anymore. Like there's barely anyone in the game that actually go in and just dive for no reason. Like. It's always usually either for shinies or whatever, but I want them to add something new. So over here, they could do something like they did in Pokemon Brick Bronze once again, where they would add fossilized eggs that would give you um, really rare Lumions. And you could like, instead of like just fossils, I know like we have the whole fossil machine over here that already does this, but I want like something rare other than like shinies and all that gleams whatever you want to call them i want something new like a new lumion maybe even items so with items what they could do is they could place a new um npc over here that you could talk to and basically you could find these super like rare shards for example underwater at a really really low chance they could be even as rare as like rainbow wisps and you have a chance of finding them and let's say you found one you could trade it in for an item that can either be used in pvp or even you could trade them for like let's say a shiny version of those really rare luminance so that could be a pretty cool feature to add to just add hype to this area because this area has been left out quite a lot and it's really sad to be honest but yeah they really gotta do something to this area i really like this feature in the game and i think they should pay more attention all right over here we have the guppy pond which is basically the same thing as it uh, as the magic carp pond in pokemon brick bronze now the thing is here i'm not gonna talk about the skins or like the the cool different designs on each copy and them needing to add more obviously if they add more that would be a good think for this area but i don't think it will revive this area per se i think for this area they should add a chance to not only just get a copy but you could get different sizes of copy so like let's say you could get a huge copy where it would like in the game you'd get the copy out like how my ferroglyph is out right now and it would just be massive like it would be so big Maybe like even bigger than my Ferroglyph right now. And that would just be pretty cool. Or maybe a super tiny one. Kind of like in Doodle World. How Doodles work. I'm not saying they should copy it. But 
it's not a bad idea. It, I, it would actually kind of revive this area a bit. Maybe also with the release of Atlantean City Part 2, there might actually be a new use for this area. For like, PvP items. Maybe they could even add, uh, like a quest, like they did in Pokemon Brick Bronze with the three legendary birds. Where you would be able to, uh, ha find items on the guppies and then you could like, use them for an amazing quest that would take you and you would be able to catch like legendary Lumians and stuff like that. So that would be pretty cool. Uh, I really miss that from Pokemon Brick Runs, and I really think that will actually kind of revive Guppy Pond a bit. Because this place is just... No one no one goes here anymore. It's kind of sad, but yeah. Anyway, they should definitely add that, in my opinion. But yeah, what do you guys think? Comment down below. Alright, finally, I want to talk about two last features that can be added to the current Atlantean city that we have right now or even just part two so over here there is so many buildings like this one over here for example that you cannot enter they're just like there for show and i'm pretty sure they that will definitely change in the future but i have a very cool idea for this place what they could do is they could add a Lumion that we can customize. Now, it will be the same species for everyone. It, like, let's say, for example, we can change, like, the design of the Lumion. They would, like, give us a range of different, like, parts of the Lumion. And we can change it in, like, our own preferred way. And then we could, like, for example, let's say we can make a... There's, like, a this Lumion made by Pollute Corp. And you could, like, change... Um, certain parts of its like body and you could just like make it cool it's like a robot for example and like everyone can be running around with their own version of that lumion and like it would just be sick not gonna lie it would have the same mastery for everyone but i mean that would be pretty cool like imagine having like let's say for example just for the sake of this video it would be something like Protogon, and then you'd be able to like change Protogon's hand into like a machine gun, for example, and you'd just be able to run around with like a Gamma machine gun Protogon. That would be pretty cool. I think it's a very cool feature to have for a Lumion. It's a, it's also like unique. It's gonna make Lumions more customizable. It doesn't even have to be for every Lumion. It could just legit be for one Lumion, and it would still be amazing to have. Now, bringing on to the second feature, for the living district, I know this is most likely going to be added, because, I mean, they already added, like, houses, but... Bro, we need, we need apartments again, bro. Those apartments in Pokemon Brick Bronze were so sick. It added a lot of, like, ideas to the game. You could make your own apartment and add your own furniture. Uh, I mean, it wasn't really used that much, but it still was cool to visit people's apartments and just like, I don't know, like hang out there with our Pokemon and just like running around. That's pretty cool. So having that would be amazing. Anyway, guys, that brings us to the end of this video. If you guys feel like I missed out a, a certain feature that you would have liked me to talk about, then please comment it down below. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.